Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how fossils provide evidence for evolution and how fossils are formed. You should then be able to describe why there are very few fossils for early life forms. And finally you should be able to explain how species can become extinct. In a previous video we looked at evolution by natural selection. Scientists believe that species alive today evolved from species in the past. Now fossils provide really good evidence for evolution, and I'm showing you a fossil here. Fossils are the remains of organisms from millions of years ago which are found in rocks, and that's a definition that you need to learn. Now in the exam you could be asked how fossils form, and there are three ways. Firstly, fossils can form when parts of organisms have not decayed. That can happen when the conditions needed for decay are absent. For example, if the temperature is too cold, if there's not enough oxygen, or if there's not enough water. Secondly, fossils can form even if an organism decays, if parts of the organism are slowly replaced by minerals during the decay process. And lastly, fossils can be the preserved traces of organisms. For example, animals can leave footprints or burrows, and plants can leave preserved spaces where roots were. Now there's one big problem with fossils. Many of the earliest forms of life were soft-bodied organisms, in other words, they didn't have a shell or a skeleton. Now, soft-bodied organisms very rarely form fossils, and many of the fossils that did form have been destroyed by changes to rocks in the Earth's crust. So, because there are very few fossils of the early forms of life, scientists cannot be certain how life on Earth began. Now, one thing that fossils definitely show is that a huge number of species have become extinct. A species is extinct when there are no remaining individuals of that species still alive, and species can become extinct for several different reasons. Firstly, species can become extinct due to a catastrophic event. For example, an asteroid colliding with the Earth eventually led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. Sometimes a species becomes extinct when the environment changes, for example changing weather patterns. A new disease or a new predator could kill all of the individuals of a species and make it extinct. And finally, a species can become extinct if a new, more successful species evolves and competes with it, for example for scarce food or water. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on fossils and on extinction in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.